everyone. Welcome to Storytime at Houston Public Library. I am Andli from Collier Region Library. And today we'll be reading Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow by Kat Chong, illustrated by Charlene Chua. And I'd like to thank Simon and Schuster for giving us permission to share this book with you. All right, let's get started. Mm. Amy can do a lot of things. She can brush her teeth. She can tie her shoe. And she can even do both at once, sort of. But there's one thing Amy cannot, cannot do. She cannot make the perfect bow. Sometimes they come out too small. Look at that, even an ant can carry it. Sometimes, they come out too big. Sometimes she adds too much filling. Sometimes not enough. And sometimes they fall apart before they reach her mouth. Amy's mom and dad make perfect bow. So does her grandma. Their bow are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy could eat them all day. And sometimes she does. Today, Amy is going to do it. She's going to make the world's most perfect bow. Bow making is an all day event. Amy's dad starts in the morning, mixing together the ingredients for the dough. Then it's time to knead and knead and knead. He pushes the dough, he punches the dough. Amy gives it a try too. They leave the dough to rise. Amy keeps an eye on it, just in case. It grows bigger and bigger and even bigger. Amy's dad squishes the dough down just in time. He rolls it into a log and cuts it into pieces. Meanwhile, Amy's mom seasons meat for the filling. Garlic, mushrooms, ginger, salt, and pepper. That sounds very delicious. Everyone gathers around the table and rolls up their sleeves. It's time to get to work. Amy's first bow turns out a little funny. So does the second. It's hard to know how much filling to add. Too little and the bow is uh, too em empty. Too much and whoops, it starts falling apart. It's also hard to pinch the bow shut just right. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Amy watches her mom make a perfect bow. She watches her dad make a perfect bow and her grandma too. They all try to teach her. Roll out the dough like this, says Amy's dad. Use just enough filling, says Amy's mom. Pinch, 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 says Amy's grandma. But Amy's bow just aren't the same. They are too empty or too fat or they have holes in them, they leak. Maybe today won't be that day after all. Maybe Amy just can't make a perfect bow. Then Amy has an idea. The pieces of dough were cut for grown up hands, but Amy's hands were very small, like your guys. She whispers her idea into her grandma's ear. Amy's grandma cuts each piece of dough into two smaller pieces. Amy sized pieces. Now they fit perfectly in Amy's palms. Carefully, Amy rolls the dough so it's thicker on the inside and thinner at the edges. She adds just the right amount of filling. She pinch, pinch, pinches it shut. And there it is. Ooh, Amy's perfect bow. She makes another, and another, and even more after that. She is a bow-making master. Soon, all the dough and filling are gone. Everyone is tired, but they're not done yet. Amy's grandma boils a big pot of water. It's time to steam the bow. Amy keeps an eye on the steamer, just in case. All her perfect bow and all the imperfect ones Two are snug inside. The bow are done. 
Amy's mom lifts the lid off the steamer and whoosh, out comes a lot of steam. Amy can't see anything at all. The steam clears and there are Amy's perfect bow. They are not too small, they are not too big, they have just the right amount of filling and they do not leak. They are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy eats one, then another, and then she eats one of the not so perfect bow. And you know what? It tastes just as good. Look at that, she took a lot of them to school to share with her friends. And it has a recipe at the end too, the end. Well, thank you for joining me for the story time. Hope to see you guys later, bye.